Well, good day. I am Dr. Michael Hartley. I am a non-medical type of doctor. I operate on business. And today's focus are the fact that there are five mastery level systems in every business that you must have in place to properly build it and scale your business. And we've gone through the first two, and today is number three. You see, the third mastery level system to implement consistently in your business is a 90-day plan. So we start with the default calendar, talking about how to put in a system to make you more effective and your team more efficient with the time that we're given. Then we looked at the second mastery system, which is a daily action list. And this daily action list should look, you know, something like this, where you're putting up in place the frog I have to eat, the thing you may procrastinate on the most. Uh, you may have other items, you know, that you're planning out essentially. You're planning out tomorrow at the end of today, and you're looking at the default calendar for when you'll actually do those items. Number three, then, is the 90-day plan. Where are we actually going this specific quarter? And so when we really look at what that looks like, where is your business today? How often do you actually pause and, and reflect on where we're coming from and what did or did not take place? And then looking forward and going, okay, well, if that's what we didn't take place and what we had you know, intended to take place or whatever those things may be, what are we doing next? You see, it's uh, about 1% of your entire quarter is what we coach our clients to and what we recommend for you to dedicate towards planning out the entire three months. You see, when you dedicate 1%, just 1% of the entire quarter, it allows you to better prepare what you're actually gonna do week by week across all 13 weeks that every quarter actually has. So if you don't know where you're going and you don't know how you're gonna get there, you, as my mom would say, you're throwing spaghetti on the wall and seeing what sticks. But that's not necessarily a great way to build a business. It's definitely not effective or efficient. And you get like, you know, the few that become lucky and those kind of things. And yet for the rest, it's about putting in the right amount of focus in the right areas with the right action, the right implementation to actually get those consistent results. And so if you don't have a quarterly plan, meaning four quarter plans, one per quarter every single year, and it's not like in January you create it for the year, you may have yearly targets and milestones to hit along the way of where you want the year to be. But guess what? Life happens, pandemics take place, you know, different things in life that you weren't anticipating take place, elections, all of these things take place. And so you may have a yearly plan. And if you're not looking at it every single quarter and updating it for that next quarter, man, you're, you're not adjusting appropriately. It's like driving in traffic and, 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 you, and your GPS pops up and says, hey, there's a major accident coming up or a major construction zone coming up. And here's a detour that will save you about 30 minutes. And you're just looking at that and going, nah, it's okay. I'll just sit here. Instead of actually being proactive and going, oh yeah, there's a better route. Well, that's what this does. You see, life throws construction zones and accidents in our way. And oftentimes we can't control them. And so what we must focus on is what we can control that is important to our business and important to us being successful. And so by refocusing your 90-day plan accordingly, you can look back and say, man, what did happen? What do I anticipate will happen? What will I do? What will this business do? Not just I, myself, the team, the entire business. And so that really becomes the focus and go, okay, I'm going to take a step back for you and for your team at the end of the quarter. You see, winning teams, they get together and they reassess. They strategize, they refocus, and they plan the next quarter. And that is what creating your 90-day plan does. It's why we have our clients and some non-clients join us for a day, a quarter, one day. And that's all it is to plan out the entire next quarter. That's what winning teams do. They adjust. They have that huddle. A lot of businesses have that morning huddle with your team. Well, this is a quarterly huddle. And it's about focusing and saying, what do we desire to have? And how in the world are we planning to get there? And having a detailed plan to actually do it. You say, we want to talk and walk the walk. You see, the playing field is out there and there is business to be had. And if you're not planning, your competition most likely is. So what does that winning game plan actually look like? 
And do you have the right powerful tools and teaching and resources to actually use to make that happen? And if you don't, then you must work with somebody who does because we'll provide all those things to you and guide you along the way, especially the first one or two times. You see what we see consistently, you can ask any of our clients, the first one or two times that you go to do this, there are some major roadblocks mentally to work past. And we see all a lot of the same you know, constraints happening the first one or two times. And then what we hear from that, all of our clients is man, by the time we get to that third one, now we're really understanding how to create a proper 90 day plan. It took us six months to get there, but now we actually understand it. And so when you start to do this, it's a new process and it is not the same as what you would anticipate it might be. And so when you really start looking at the different levels of mastery and the different levels of marketing and niche and the different levels of systems and leverage and then the levels of team that you look to require to build your business, that is what your 90 day plan is here to do. So if you don't have a 90 day plan, how many weeks are there from today to the end of this quarter and create that plan for now. And then towards the end of the quarter, start to think about how do we plan properly for the next 13 weeks. I'm Dr. Michael Hartley. I'm here to elevate your business and enhance your lifestyle. Bye for now.